Hey guys, this is Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist. In this video, I'm going to be talking about using acetyl L-carnitine for depression. Does it work? Is there problems? So on and so forth. So let's hop right into it. So acetyl L-carnitine, which I'll just call ALC from this point forward, is going to be a lot easier. So first we've got to understand what's going on in the body, right? You can consume lysine and methionine in your diet. And what your body does is in the brain, liver, and kidney, it converts it to a product called L-carnitine. Your body can then convert L-carnitine to ALC, and ALC, if needed, can be converted back to L-carnitine. So it's, it's coming from your diet, number one. We'll get to that in a second, why that's gonna be even more important. So what about evidence? Do we think it can help with depression? Yes, there is some evidence that it can. Now, so when they took oral ALC um, at one to four grams a day, they did that for three to 24 weeks. What they found is that there was a moderately decrease in depressive symptoms versus placebo or versus a sugar tablet. Um, that's great, but we also run into a problem as well. Okay, so we already talked about your body essentially makes ALC from the foods you eat. Well, lysine and methionine, the building blocks of L-carnitine, are high in meat, okay? Now, let me be very clear here. I'm very pro-red meat. I eat red meat. I eat grass-fed meat. But if you, if you totally base your diet or eat a lot of red meat, it can be pro-inflammatory. And it can be hard on your thyroid function because these are amino acids which can be inflammatory, okay? Lysine, methionine, or amino acids in meat. This explains why in studies, what they found is when they gave people L-carnitine, and remember, L-carnitine can be converted to ALC, it can actually inhibit the activity of thyroid hormones in target tissues. Um, the reason I bring this up is, yes, it has shown some promise in depression, but oftentimes people with low thyroid function can have depressive type symptoms, manifest because they don't have energy, they're gaining weight, those sorts of things. So oftentimes they go hand in hand. I would definitely not take ALC if you have any sort of thyroid issue. So it's just something to keep in mind to discuss with your doctor. And I tell you to discuss it with your doctor because not just like, oh, it's, you always say that. It's like, you really need, you and your doctor have to discuss these things because there are problems with taking supplements if if you don't know what you're doing or understand what you're taking. The other time I would not take it, and this ties back to depression, is somebody with bipolar disorder because there's some evidence it can shoot somebody into a manic episode. So again, bottom line is, yeah, it does appear in some cases there's benefit, but if you have thyroid or bipolar history, I would stay away from acetyl L-carnitine. Really what I'm talking about, focus on your diet. Um, not only from an ALC standpoint, but from gut health, which is where serotonin is made. All these chemicals really come down to your diet, gut health, those sorts of things. So, and I've got other videos on diet. If you if you find those helpful, check those out. Um, so let me know in the comments. Have you taken ALC? Was it helpful? Did you experience side effects? Uh, it's really beneficial for me to hear your feedback, and also other people that watch the video. It's it's helpful for them. To learn from what you've done. So speaking of helpful, I hope the video was guys. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.